and welcome back to Build with Marcella, where today we are here for another haul video. It is Lego Insiders Weekend, and boy did I have a good time. I went to the Lego store, and then I went to Target, and I got some goodies at Target as well. So, let's take a look at what I got first at the Lego store. Alright, I got a big bag of goodies down here. Well, let's do these first. So first up, I hit up the pad wall, because there were some new... No, go ahead. Feel free. It's it's okay. Keep going. We'll wait. Can I? Can I continue? So, first up, I hit up the pad wall because there were some wonderful new pieces. I think she's trolling me. So, first of all, not necessarily new, but these gold leaves. Love them. Definitely new. The candelabra. What? Are you kidding me? I cannot wait to use these all in any kind of mock all over. These are going to be great for Harry Potter scenes. Oh, I just realized I need to figure out a way to make these float in a... Oh. And then we have these pieces that are going to help me create an accurate... Hardest. I can't wait to try that as well. So here's just because I love a big pour. Lots of good pieces. They also had one by four profile brick. I can't stand it in tan. Oh, so good. They also had some translucent blue, some snowflake pieces, some snow or teeth. Just such good. So that was one cup. Here. And then I also got a second cup. Just quick pieces, some really nice clear pieces. The profile brick, the one by four in the lilac color. Some wonderful uh, one by six. Yeah, one by six in the sand green. Great green slider pieces. Some clear window panels. There were just, and some white pieces that I'm going to use for this uh, Santa's cookie shop I'm working on. But there, and some tan jumpers. Really, really great parts on the wall this weekend. Can't wait to separate that out. Yes, I still got to use my cups. It, the cups are coming to an end. We will soon be getting the boxes, which look for more information on those soon when they come to the stores. I won't be able to use my pretty decorated cups anymore, but that's okay. More sustainable future. We all want that. All right. Next up, the sets that I got. Okay. Where shall we start? Let's start with this beautiful new friend set. It is so neat. This is set 41760. This is the Igloo Holiday Adventure. Now, Okay, there are several things I'm super excited about in this set. First of all, was this igloo piece. This. <laughs> so on display, when you look at this set, it is a very small, beautiful set. I can't wait to put it together. But more than anything, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure that it is the same piece that's used in the botanical garden, which means I might be able to part out the botanical garden and make a full one. Not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see when I open it up. I'm super excited about these flower pieces and all these greens. I'm excited about this waterfall piece. I have an idea of what I'm going to use this for. Can't wait. And then look at the puppies. Look at the puppies. I love these puppies. But in this set, we get Aaliyah Paisley and Ella. I don't think I have Ella. I don't think I've gotten Ella in another set. But the Friends sets, they're just killing it. And this is a really cute little set. Ah, there's that light blue trash can. We got a bunch of those in the Peter Pan and Wendy flight. I wish I could get this trash can in the dark blue so I could make my TARDIS. It would really help me make the TARDIS panels. But, you know, maybe one day. But I really, I'm looking forward to building this set. So this was one thing that I picked up. And this set retails, I believe, for $49.99. I will put that in the description below. Okay. Next, we got 
<laughs> Set number 40658. This is the Star Wars Millennium Falcon Holiday Diorama. I, this was a last minute in the line checking out. I decided I had looked at it earlier and then I just decided, you know what? I need to have this in my life because I need Holiday Ray and Holiday Finn. And I think the only Chewbacca I have is in the Micro Fighter. So I needed a Chewbacca in my life. And who doesn't need another Porg and another BB-8? So I had to pick this up. It's just a cute little holiday time set. And I don't know why they didn't just call it Life Day Celebration, but they call it Holiday Diorama. But that's fine. In my house, it's going to be called a Life Day Celebration. And I'm excited to put this together. Love, love, love this book back here. This Jedi Manual. That's insane. Didn't notice that until just now. I can't wait to put this together. This is really cute. Next, on clearance, we had set number 40521, the Haunted Mini Disney Haunted Mansion set. This was on clearance for $27.99. I have been looking at this set for so long, and I just finally decided to do it, get it. This was the time. You know, we're getting double points on things, triple points on things. I don't know if I got double points on this or not. I'll have to look at the breakdown. But that is the great thing about Insider Weekend is that there are some sets. I'm not sure what the point breakdown was on any of this, actually. But there are some things that you could get double points, triple points, and even quadruple points. It's insane. Go to your Lego store. Check out Insider's Weekend. But this, 40521 Disney's Mini Haunted Mansion. I really, really wanted this for a long time. And... I'm kind of making my office a Disney Lego office. I've got the Upset, the Encanto House, the Steamboat Willie, and what did I, Peter Pan and Wendy's Flight. And it just, this is gonna fit in perfect up there. And so I'm super excited to put this together too. Anyway, just such a great weekend. So since I got all of that and the two pop cups, I qualified for, oh, oh yeah. I forgot about, I also got, I hit up the BAM wall and got some random pieces. Got some mermaid tails, a Santa torso, some cool hat, a cool hat, some hair. I saw a dirty chef's coat. I don't have a dirty chef's coat, which I thought was neat. Some new jackets and torsos and some leg pieces that I needed. And a neat little piece that my friend found that had a bow. You can't, you can't see the bow, of course. It's just a little present piece. Like a flat tile piece that has a bow on it. So it look, you can make it look like a present. So had fun on the pow wall. So with all of that, I qualified for one of the gift with purchases. I was not expecting that, which is the Creator Winter Market Stall. This is adorable. It's a set 40602. It's so cute. It's going to look adorable in my little winter scene. So I'm super excited to put this together. I did not expect to be getting this, but I love a gift with purchase. It makes my day. So excited about that as well. Now, on the way home, we also stopped at Target and I got some goodies at Target. First up was set number 60376, the Arctic Explorer Snowmobile. Got this because of the seals. I wanted these seals so bad and this is only a $9.99 set, so this was a no-brainer. Had to have these seals. Then... They had two friends' poly bags, 30633 and 30635. These are both friends. We've got the skate ramp. So you've got the beach cleanup, which I got because it comes with the otter, and I wanted this otter for so long, and I can see his little face in there. I'm super excited about that. And then the skate ramp comes with a little tiny, from one of uh, the rooms, it comes with a little lizard, the recolor mold on the Bruni from Frozen. So I'm super excited to get another one of him. And it's just cute, it's a skate ramp. So now I can build a tiny little skate park. It was quite the Lego haul this weekend. I'm super excited to get building. Let me know down below in the comment section what you picked up this weekend for Lego Insiders Weekend. And let me know which one of these sets you want me to review or you wanna know my thoughts on. I'd be happy to let you know about any or all of them. So until next time, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, share, do all those things. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye. Happy Lego Insiders Weekend.